Welcome to another episode of Hard Factor, presented by the Barstool News Network. It is What the Fuck Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. We've got a truly perverted lineup of stories today, submitted by you, the listener, the Hardo Hive. We've got sex, crimes, sex crimes, animals, celebrities, all kinds of wild shit. Pat, get us going. Hell of a fucking intro, Will. This one's for Brandon Moist. Uh, an abandoned hey, the, mo- the, the moist man's back. It's been a while. Yeah, bro. Yeah. God blessed him with the last name. I'll tell you that. Uh, an abandoned roadway in Pennsylvania known as Graffiti Highway has seen a dangerous uptick in visitors during quarantine, guys. Uh, the road whose government name is State Route 61 has been closed since 1993 due to damage from an underground mine fire. Again, this is Pennsylvania, Uh, being that the Pennsylvania Public Works Department has been, I don't know, getting around to fixing it for the better part of 27 years. The deserted road has become a blank canvas for graffito taggers and sadly, the town's main tourist attraction. I mean, that's not sad, though. No, that sounds Uh, awesome. I was just thinking it's it's tough on the amateur taggers because you're going up against some stiff competition uh you don't want your first tag to be on graffiti row is that what it's called it's, it's a whole it's like a mile of fucking graffiti you, yeah you, you but, can you can yeah, you can man. blend in with the crowd it's like going mm. out on like a you know hawaiian surf like with the locals and trying to like you know surf out there i don't know <laughs> it's nothing like that uh yeah, you want to work your way up you want to yeah. work your way up you you want to like do like a few like uh Shanty Town underpasses. That's true. Where that's, you go. That's what I'm talking about. You need a nickname right. that someone else has tagged or called you by before you go to to the, try this. Right. Yep. Sleepy's popular. It's it's not as <laughs> big of a deal as like uh, graffito tagging a train car. That's like going on tour. You know what I mean? Oh, that's true. The whole, that's big boy stuff. The whole right world there. sees it. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. I think it's the same level. Yeah. Who knows? Anyway, guys. Uh, <laughs> you know this graffiti road was all well and good before Corona, but with an entire population with no work to do or no school to learn, uh, the shitty art mural has become overrun with people from all over the tri-state area who took their therapist's advice and decided to try doing art. Uh, hmm. And it's not potentially poor social distancing practices, guys, that are creating the hazard. It's more than that. See, these tourists aren't just spray painting their girlfriend's name in bubble letters or scrawling a meaningless plea on the pavement in an attempt to free a homie from jail. They're starting fires at random. Oh, I was thinking you were going to say dicks and swastikas. Oh, those are there, what? too. I mean, it's a graffiti right. road, Will. Right. <laughs> So what are they doing? But using lighters to Wait a like spray? Wait a minute. I'm confused. Are you saying that every every tourist that goes there is tagging, or is it just some people? Aren't some people just looking at it? I mean, I guess, bro. But it's like a yeah. big, like okay, in Austin. But remember when what we are had the, the gra- fires about? Yeah, the yeah. fires. It's cold in Pennsylvania, I guess. I don't know. Well, well let's get into the fires because this is fucking bullshit. So the current man in charge of the property, this guy named Vincent uh, Guarna, told WNEP TV, "quote." I think a few weeks ago, there was a fire there. People just starting fires. Uh, Right. So, I don't know. When I was first researching this story, I thought, so what? A couple people started fires on an abandoned road. Doesn't actually sound that bad. Yeah, that's the place to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Graffiti Road, right? Right. And if there's anything no, I know about a place that has lots of graffiti, it's it. You should expect a, like an oil drum fire. That's what I'm 100%. saying. Close. Exactly. Yeah. It's like a ba- if it's in a barrel, then this isn't a story at all. Mm-hmm. Why they leave all the oil drums around the graffiti if they didn't want you to start fires in it? Will you know? Yeah. Right. Good question. Heard. Uh, anyway, guys, you know, thought what's the big deal? That was until I discovered that there are dangerous gases leaking up from the road. Uh, From the underground and during an incident in May of 1962, a group of municipal employees were burning trash at a garbage dump in the area of the road uh, that ignited and exposed a coal seam, causing a massive inferno that's still burning underground 58 years later. Uh, That's not good. That's not good. Yeah. mm -hmm, Still going. Uh, And it subsequently caused the entire town uh, of Centralia to be condemned. It's a ghost town now. <laughs> huh. Yeah. See why they were concerned now? These yeah, guys, now yeah, I get it. Yeah, now you get it. Not just the social distancing. Well, but that's poor planning. You don't put a uh, graffiti row on top of a place that you can light on fire for 60 years. Right, like next to the next to the gas plant. Hold yeah, on, guys. Yeah, I mean, planning? Yeah. No, no, no. Graffiti road exists because some idiot ignited a fucking underground gas pocket that then thereby destroyed the fucking road. 
Well, that's no, tomato, tomato, graffiti really. Road. Yeah, I mean, but now it's Graffiti Road, Pat. You're missing the point. Now yeah. it's Graffiti Road, so they got to get the gas out or something because it's it's not going to not be Graffiti Road. They can't get the gas out, Mark. It, it's a fucking fire has been burning well, for 58 they sh- years. They should try. I mean, look, it's going to be there's going to be barrels on fire, oil yeah. drums on fire, and people tagging on Graffiti also, Road. Also, Graffiti Road is. 10 times cooler now that I know that there's a raging fire, yeah. like an eternal raging well, no, fire yeah, no wonder just why, below the surface. <laughs> no wonder why people can't help but go. <laughs> really, come on. Yeah. Hey, you guys know there's a fire underneath of us? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Like, yeah, you, yeah. There's not a cooler place to take a date talk in, about, in town. Yeah. You're going yeah, talk you're, about you're, getting laid. Yeah, you're yeah. going oh to Graffiti God. Road. You, you get your first hand job at Graffiti Road and your mm-hmm. last hand job at Graffiti yeah. Road. First hit a, hit a heroin. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's people shooting up there. I mean, yeah, it, it would be really hard to. Can resist. you get on Graffiti Road's page with us? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. Like, look, I'm I'm we in. Should go. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, it's, you really can't, Wes, because because Graffiti Road's over. I, uh, I, look, it what? would be it would be challenging to resist the temptation to start a fire there. I got to admit, you know, you want to see yeah. what's going to happen. Uh, but anyway, guys, the recent liability, unfortunately, proved to be the last straw for Graffiti Highway. Uh, and has forced the current owners of the land to deal with the issue the same way that Pennsylvania deals with dead bodies, toxic waste, and those who dare to come forward after being touched by Catholic priests, they're throwing mm. dirt at it. Uh, oh, they, they did. Mm-hmm. The, they did the California skate park. They're burying it. They're burying it with dirt. They're, they're, 100%. Oh, fuck. That's what's up. Fuck. Can't spray paint on dirt unless you have. Unless you have something that, like, tells me that Graffiti Road is going to be back with a vengeance. In you like better 10 believe years. it. This just weeds out yeah. the pussies. The, it is, makes it way more hardcore. This thing of like, <laughs> yeah, this thing of like covering up cool things like skate parks and Graffiti Road with like with construction people pushing dirt over it will not stand. Guys, it's not it's cool to haunt you to put yeah. your tag on dirt because someone can just kick it away. Nope. I don't right? know, man. See what I'm saying? Know. Right. They're gonna figure it out. That's anyway, bullshit. guys, Guarna said it should be uh, should be between three and four days to execute the plan of completely covering the roadway with dirt, a burial of sorts. Unfortunately, so there's still time to tag it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're in Pennsylvania, like now, maybe yeah. go out to Graffiti Road and start a little barrel fire. Uh, let's take it to the internet real quick, guys. <laughs> they just cursed some other town, is what <laughs> they did. I mean, oh, like, yeah. literally, a nearby town oh, is now yeah. the new Graffiti Graffiti Highway. Great point, Wes. <laughs> yeah, that's all they did. Yeah. The fucking one of the towns already gone because there's been a fire burning under it for 58 years and wow. yeah, well, people had to evacuate. Well, hopefully the next spot doesn't have a secret pocket <laughs> of gas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm still I'm still like failing to grasp how it's a problem considering that there's this giant fire right below the surface. Like can't they just cover that entire area in graffiti? It wouldn't really matter. Yeah, it's like right. a beach fire. Yeah, they're yeah, treating it like it it's sh- treating it like it's Chernobyl. It's just where everyone gets a little sucky sucky, you know, like come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and hopefully you get that soggy soggy. We'll stay warm by a nice barrel fire. Yeah. Taking it to the internet, Carl May, or it's at Kardashian underscore between the car and the Dashian. R.I.P. to our graffiti highway in Centralia. They're ripping it up and filling it in because hundreds of tourists kept congregating there over the weekend instead of staying home. No, Carl. They're filling it in because it's got a fucking gas ball underneath it that could be ignited <laughs> by a barrel fire. It's not because people got, showed up. Hmm. Carl's got a graffiti uh, avatar. He's got a tagger name. Yeah, that's true. Did you guys ever graffito tag? No, I'm so I'm bad. Not, at, I'm not I'm a good so artist. I'm so bad at art. Right? No. Yeah, I wish. You don't need I, to be if good. I, if I was good at art, it would be one of my top mediums. You don't need I to think be I good. wrote like fuck on a construction site one time. Just fuck. Hey, Pat, did you ever gra- <laughs> did you ever graffiti anything at an elementary school parking lot or parking? Uh, you uh, asked that, Mark. Yes, I did. School, yeah. what'd you, in what'd the you sixth type? grade, there was yeah, what'd, you, what'd you do? There was a colleague of mine in the sixth grade that uh, got tits. And uh, I was just over the moon with these tits. Couldn't believe that they were there. <laughs> and they were so top of mind uh, that I, I broke broke into the schoolyard at night and then spray painted the person's name followed by has big tits. She sure the, uh, did. Uh-huh, sure. On the wall well, of yeah. the where everyone Factual. had recess. Yeah. You know, just in case you missed it. Well, yeah. Look, how'd she, what'd she think of that? After well, luckily saw? for her, she wouldn't go through that tube. Well, cause her tits were too big. She couldn't mm-hmm. crawl through the tube. <laughs> I just love the idea of a teacher showing up that morning and just the disappointment. That's, that's what I was. And I really like, I was just, Look, the f- first pair of tits you notice, it's a thing. 
<laughs> yeah, the yeah. shout it to the. To you want to tell heavens. the world? Shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> I'd, Im- I'd imagine that's more flattering at li- like age uh, eighteen through twenty five than age like ten. No, I, I feel right. very ashamed yeah. of it because yeah. an awkward time for uh, the, that female. And uh, really sorry. Whoops. That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Didn't get caught though. So. What's the statue? Well, till now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now she knows. Now she knows who ruined her freshman year. <laughs> oh. Um. All right, guys, this uh, next fucked up one comes from uh, Drew Pomerlau on Twitter. Uh, Thanks, Drew. So, guys, being a stowaway isn't easy. Uh, First, you got to live in a place that is so bad you will do anything to escape it. Then you got to be poor enough to not have any other way to escape than to become a stowaway on a ship or like a train or something. Then you got to sit quietly, uh, likely shitting and pissing within one to two feet of where you're hiding for days, sometimes weeks on end, as the ship uh, makes its way to the, uh, in this, in the case of this story, a container ship makes its way slowly across the rough seas. So it's not an easy task. Right? Yeah, mm. I, I never gave much thought to it, but I'm going <laughs> to, I'm not going to do it now. No, you don't <laughs> want to do it. sounds terrible. I gave a lot of thought to it. You don't want to do it. Um, yeah. And that task becomes even more difficult when you are discovered and treated like an animal thought to be the carrier of a virus the whole world is scared of, then tossed into shark-infested waters off the tip of South Africa on a makeshift makeshift raft with no food and one bottle of water. Um, And I can only think of a few scenarios worse than that, but not many. Um, Wow. Yeah. Whoa. So what that happened to somebody that... Just now, that that's all that? A, the, and Will, that's exactly what happened to two uh, Tanzanian stowaways, 20-year-old Amiri Salamu and 30-year-old Hassani Rajabu, uh, when they were discovered on the cargo ship, the MV Top Grace, which was making its way to Durban, South Africa. Um, so upon discovering them, the ship's Chinese captain, Hui Rongli, um, along with six crew members, fashioned a raft made of plywood, plastic drums, and rope, Gave them each a bottle of water and I think one life jacket to split between Holy the two of them. Shit. And then um, and then dropped them in the ocean just 60 miles from where the ship was supposed to dock. Uh, right at the mouth of the uh, Tugela River where great whites, tiger sharks, hammerheads and bull sharks like to feed on stowaways and seals. Crazy. Yeah. No, yeah, but no need. No need to search for them. They're dead. They're like, well, they're a bunch of weird laws of the sea. I bet this is in bounds. I, I bet this is like an old seaman's law that. Oh, I think if you're on the sea and you discover somebody who's been stowed in, inside your boat, you can definitely just toss them over the edge. Yeah. Especially if you that, like, that, already watched that's everything the thing. on Netflix. You have to add that to Wes's like whole like timeline of fear. Like right. constantly getting caught and getting thrown off the plank is like part of. Yeah. Thing. I mean, I would argue yeah. that these guys got a decent treatment, honestly. Like compared to what they thought. They yeah, were gonna get. I would rather a swift death than seven days at sea before with sunburn before getting eaten by a shark. Well, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, okay. rather well, just a shot, a rifle shot to the head, maybe. But uh. right. It's kind <laughs> yeah, of a exactly. dickhead move, yeah. honestly. Well, I think it was what? like, what were you going to say? Pat? Give ahead. him like a tiny slimmer, slimmer. Of hope. They, yeah, they're 60 <laughs> miles out. The guy had already been like sitting in his own shit for however uh, many fucking days. You just get like, one raft. Yeah. One yeah. life vest. <laughs> one raft. One bottle of water for the uh, for each of you. And that was it. No food. They just told him to use their hands to paddle to shore. Well, now um, it's a but, challenge. But yeah, exactly. But now these this Chinese uh, captain knows that if they survive, that these two are going to come after him for the rest of his life. Or he's yeah. going to make them his first mate. Yeah, that's true. We could turn sh- into yeah. that. Was the ship's yeah, yeah. name the MV Top Grace? That was that like an ironic name, or I don't know. Well, not, I don't. Uh, uh, just you're just the not showing part. a lot of Top Grace when you're just yeah. throwing stowaways into shark infested waters. No, I'm not very gracious. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think the the, the, the raft and something was just kind of like so they maybe they could sleep at night because yeah, like I mean I guarantee lots of stowaways just get tossed over and never thought about again. Um, when they when they get discovered, so yeah, and thir- uh, in the 1300s, yeah, well, I think no, nowadays yeah, I'm too. I'm sure it's still today. <laughs> all right, okay. you're in the middle of the all ocean. Right. All right, sure. <laughs> There's no rules <laughs> out well, there. Well, I agree with you. Tons of stowaways yeah. are getting tossed by pe- over by peg-legged pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's not like a drone watching your every move when you're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. Like, yeah, and that, and that, somebody then you have to thing. then you have to throw over the people that are a part of your crew that are loud mouthed and like uh, like bleeding hearts. Like, uh, he's yeah, I mean that's he's, a real issue. Yeah, he's a you little, gotta have yeah. a loyal crew. Yeah, if you got yeah, it, it becomes a, a what's that the the, the so and so's seven having, or yes. something. Yeah, so and so's having trouble <laughs> sleeping at nights. He's got to go over now too. Yeah, yeah. you got to tamp down any potential of a mutiny. Everyone's dead on that ship. Um, so, uh, but 
<laughs> 60 miles for, for fuck's sake. Keep them in a box or it's a cargo ship. Plenty of space for a couple of stowaways. Definitely didn't have Corona. And uh, the captain was Chinese, so he should be sympathetic to that shit, if you ask me. Um, so two men, the two men somehow after three days of drift miraculously landed on Zinkwazi Beach. Look. They survived. About, about, yeah, they both survived. Yeah, yeah. about Happy six ending. miles. They were about six miles from where they were discarded from the ship. Uh, luckily, the people on land were more caring than those on the cargo ship and took them to a hospital. They killed um, them immediately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, 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 right. they pushed them back out. <laughs> yeah. God, they must have been uh, so thirsty. <laughs> Oh yeah, they were they were they were uh, on the on the death's door. Um, so they went to the hospital where they probably described in in great frantic detail uh, Captain Wrongly and how he wrongly threw them overboard to the fucking sharks. It was the um, captain. Yeah, <laughs> it was not Captain so, Wrongly. It was yeah. Um, so when Captain when Captain Wrongly <laughs> when Captain Wrongly docked, authorities were waiting for him. And his ship was impounded, and he and his crew were charged with attempted murder. They beat. Which, they beat them. They beat yeah. them in. <laughs> they beat them in. <laughs> Captain Wrongly is just hanging out at sea. Like, I don't know if there was like a, a you know some kind of law oh they couldn't dock. God, this is amazing. Know. Yeah, oh, man. They, I really they, hope they that the stowaways them. said something like, uh, "You'll pay for this, Wrongly," before they before they were tossed. <laughs> I don't, think they, ever want to I don't, see, I don't think, think they so. ever want to see Wrongly again. I don't think so. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, they probably just were silent, hoping they weren't killed. Oh. Yeah, I think they want to stay Thank away you from Wrongly. Thank for the raft. Mm -hmm. Can you identify him? No, 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 no way. Um, so uh, so they, they were, they're facing attempted murder. They all pled guilty to it and now facing fines of $5,000 for the captain and 2500 for the crew, which is an interesting amount to go along with attempted murder charge. Uh, yeah. But the, the defense for the men said, quote, there were many mitigating factors, and if the crew had wanted to be cruel, they could have just dropped them in the high seas much further out without life jackets. See? There it is. Yeah. That's the li literally you're allowed to. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah they could have just killed him, Your Honor. Yeah, this, um, this story turned out like a, f a fine and everyone's okay. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. you're not allowed They're to, lucky. Will, because... They're lucky they weren't dropped in the sea is, yeah. the, is they, the moral. That's it's like, Yeah, that's it's, what defense it, says. It's like an even Steven. Yeah, they, they, they we, yeah, we, we, we could have just yeah. killed him, sir. <laughs> even even the stowaways like, all right, yeah, we'll, so, call it, we'll call it square. Yeah, so that's that. And I'll tell you, those castaways or those stowaways sure could use some nice and calming CBD after that mm. experience. And they can do so with caliber CBD powder. Um, who says taking care of yourself needs to be hard? Uh, what's great about CBD is that it helps you feel better without making drastic changes to your routine. This stuff helps me sleep better, has been a great alternative to the unknown number of beers I used to drink. I wake up refreshed, ready to go. Plus, the powder tastes so much better than those uh, those tincture droppers. In fact, oh. you can't even taste it when you mix it with your favorite beverage. Uh, I like it in my tea with just a touch of honey. Yeah, and it's that not, is just, not comparable to tinctures. That tea with honey it, sounds delicious. It's it's relax relaxation over yeah. overload, baby. So is that a local uh, honey, Wes? Um, yeah, it says it's local. Yeah, who knows? Good for I mean, you. I don't it's know. Lo it's local yeah. to somewhere. Yeah, it's local. It says it's local. Anyway, precisely twenty milligrams in each packet of Caliber CBD. <laughs> Never question how much CBD you're uh, taking again. Oh, was that was that six drops under my tongue or 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 sixteen? Yeah. Um, Never again with Caliper. Again, just drop it in my tea at night. It's perfect to wind down from a long day of being stressed. Um, rediscover your best self with the CBD products that, clinically, that are clinically proven to be superior to standard CBD oils. Your body is mostly water. Oil and water don't mix. CBD oil is no different. It's clinically proven that you absorb 450% more CBD with caliper CBD powder compared to tinctures, and you just, you just don't argue with 450% better. I mean, 100% is That's, great. Not yeah. only that, not no. only that, you're getting way more with this stuff, but also good point about the tinctures. How can you tell how many drops you've done? I used to do yeah, it in a mirror. I used to do the, it in a mirror, and that was the only way. That was the first time where we said it in ad read, but it's so fucking like pertinent. Like you, you can yeah. like just do like a twenty time dose and still yeah. taste disgusting, or yep. you could do it's like it's like the eye drops type thing. You know, right, like, how, did I get how many did I get in my eye? You know? I would yeah, always do something kind of super weird. I would um I would count the drops. Mm. Yes, that's yeah. weird. Yeah. 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 Well, but that's pointless. <laughs> this thing is a packet. Easy. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's exact, and it doesn't that's taste gone. like it's it's gone. It tastes whatever it tastes like whatever you're mixing it with, um, and Caliper gives you all the benefits of CBD in just 15 minutes, about twice as fast as CBD 
CBD oil. So if you need something to relax you fast, boom, it's right there. Caliber CBD comes in affordable 10 and 30 count packs. You can get started for under 20 bucks. Individual packets give you the benefits of CBD wherever you go. Unlike some products out there, Caliper is completely THC free. All the goodness of CBD with no high. Get 20% off your first order when you use promo code FACTOR at tricaliper.com slash FACTOR. You can try Caliper CBD risk-free for 30 days. If you don't love it, they'll give you a full refund. That's tricaliper.com slash FACTOR. Don't forget promo code FACTOR for 20% off your first order. It's C-A-L-I-P-E-R. Correct. All right, guys. Let me take you over to Convict Hill where we got a double case of stupid criminals for you. First up, Dan Grayson sent us this story about a lunatic from Utah. Uh, 46-year-old Frank Hinojosa Rendon of Ogden. Hino- Hinojosa, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. A weird middle name for Frank uh, based on his picture and stuff, but yeah. Uh, of, <laughs> of Ogden, Utah got the cops called on him after he threatened to blow up a man while standing outside his home. It was a, hey, you, get out here so I can watch you get blown up by me mm-hmm. scenario. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of those. Classic. Run, 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 that, run that back for me. Quite the end. So he asked a man to come and watch himself get blown up. Yeah, let me. I can sum it up Still in that last following. sentence. Hey, Pat. Hey, you. Get uh, outside of your house. Okay. So mm-hmm. I can watch you. Wait, I'm inside get, my house right now. Yeah. So hey, you get outside your house. Okay. So so I can watch you get blown up by me. So I can blow you up. And, oh, and see it. Yeah. why am I? What was the explosive yeah. he was going to blow? Well, why would I come out? To, we're going to get to that later. Well, you wouldn't probably. But this happened on a Friday uh, evening, mm. and he told authorities he was threatening the man because he heard a woman screaming inside. But it turns out the inside part might have been in his own head and not the house because he was taken to the hospital for psych evaluations. Uh, mm-hmm. While he was in the hospital for evaluations, he threw urine on security guards and told them, you're going to get hepatitis C. And sure enough, a quick check of his previous jail record showed that he had hepatitis C. He had the, he had the hep C. Oh, lovely. So that, that caused said, a few a few more charges to be tacked on. He said, does, you're in trouble now. Does, exactly. Uh, <laughs> does throwing urine... <laughs> Is throwing urine mean, meaning he just pissed on him? He threw it with his dick or what? Not, not sure. I think he squeezed been, really tight and then he let go. I mean, for mm. all for all intents and purposes, Wes, he could have put it in his I'm own mouth. I'm going with that. Put it in his own mouth and spit it at him. I don't really know. Uh, uh, Frank mm. wasn't jailed, though, even for these multiple charges because they were all like misdemeanors in some way, I guess. Uh, and the reason he wasn't jailed is because he's on kidney dialysis. Yeah. And you can't jail someone like on dialysis unless it's like a... a, a a felony. So that Frank is just a live wire. You know, you gotta let him go. Frank's committing at least six misdemeanors a day. Wait, and so you're, you're never, telling me you're never gonna put in jail. There's just you know, diabetics the running around with fucking total immunity. Uh, for, I'm, for I'm not sure if it's the same thing as being a diabetic, but dialysis, di- dialysis, dialysis. Uh, it, but it, that, not, that's not diabetes. Diabetics that are like dying. Pat. Diabetics uh, get on dialysis. Sure, yeah. some of them do. So then Once, they could probably get a, insulin. They could probably get away from for, for a few misdemeanors. But this guy, anyways, long story short, they had to let him go because he only committed some misdemeanors. So the next night, Frank went back to the man's house to make good on his promise of blowing him up. Uh, firefighters were called he to the back. same. <laughs> yeah, <he went> back. <laughs> firefighters were called to the Don't same. Don't worry, residence. buddy. He's not coming yeah. back. Yep, not Frank. He's he's fine. Uh, firefighters were called to the same residence to put out a truck fire, and witnesses said they saw a one-legged man in a motorized scooter place a piece of carpet in the truck bed, set it on fire, shout something, and then motorized <laughs> off. Uh, <laughs> inside the carpet was a pipe bomb. Well, that rolled, Whoa. yeah, that he created, and that rolled out onto the ground <laughs> by the firefighters who thought they were just putting out a piece of carpet, and then they freaked out, and luckily it didn't go off. The pipe bomb was made of black powder, and it was inside a plastic pipe, and it had a fuse on one end, but Frank's not very good at making pipe bombs. <laughs> yeah, apparently. what a loser. Maybe, maybe uh, remand Frank this time. Couldn't even make a pipe bomb right. Plastic guess, pipe. <laughs> yeah. Guess what? Well, this time Frank got a felony and was landed in jail. So, yeah. Yeah. He's always, he's always dancing on the line, and then the pipe bomb got him landed in jail. So, look, he thought he heard voices of a woman screaming. He thought he was doing the right thing, but he was insane. So let's go from um, a disabled would-be vigilante to a story brought to us by a disabled real-life hero and police officer, the Dutch Hammer. Oh, if hell yeah. Dutch Hammer's if, back. Yeah, if, that's right. If you didn't hear the Dutch hammer, uh, he left us the best voicemail any of us have ever received last week and instantly found his way into our hearts forever. And he sends this story from uh, 
it was from late last year from his neck of the woods, but it, it, it's definitely a Convict Hill story. So I wanted to do it. So Mattoon police had a run-in with 36-year-old Illinois man Matthew C. Bushman. Uh, yeah, they were questioning him on suspicion of forgery. And when they asked his name, Bushman, who's either a method actor or he knew he had a warrant out for his arrest, gave a fake name and date of birth. Mm -hmm. right? He's playing along with the forgery thing. My guess it was a different name from the forgery that he gave because he didn't want to get caught for the forgery. And my guess is it also was a different name that, than what was tattooed on his neck because he had a, a name tattooed on his neck. Well, but you could always claim that somebody else, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, well, so let me play that scenario out for you. You see, Matthew Bushman has Matty B tattooed prominently on his neck. Oh, no regret B. No regret style. And I'm also... Ah, uh, Matty I'm, B, okay. I'm also going to guess this is how it went down. Is that guy's name on your neck your boyfriend? Fuck no, cop. I'm not a f gay... Uh, and then, um, and then they went, okay, well, let's run Matty B's, uh, in the area and see what we get. Oh, it's Bushman. He's got a warrant. Book him. That's, mm -hmm. that's probably how that uh, went. That's great police work. Yeah. He should have said. Simple as was, that, Will. Should have oh, just said is. it was for his fallen homie. Yeah. Mm hmm Well, I don't think Bushman thinks that far ahead. I think when, when you okay. call him, when you call him out, he calls you out. Hey, Will, he, if I died, a trick. would you get my name on your neck? No, I wouldn't get anybody's name tattooed on me. I see. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Just the way it goes. No, man. I get it. Sorry. I get it. All right. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> um, so, whoops. Whoops, he had his name tattooed on his neck, and Bushman went down for forgery, obstruction of justice, false identification, and whatever the fuck his warrant was for. And the mugshot shows uh, that, you know, Matty B never had a chance because it's right there on the neck. No. Oh, and it's like the only tat. That, that's it's the bad. only it's the only well, tat on his neck. Yeah. Normally, if you see an, if you hear about a neck tat, you're assuming it's in a sea of other terrible tats. But this is it was it was either the scenario I went through or they're like, who's Ma or they're like Maddie B. And he's like, yeah. Yeah, he could have just. Uh, yeah. just <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you have your name Yo, tattooed yeah. on your yeah. neck. Yo, yeah, Maddie. Yeah. yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh, shit. how'd you know? I gave three fake names before that. My bad. Yeah. All right. Let's move it on to another. Uh. Another zany piece of local news. This one comes from Garrett in Iowa, and it's the tale of Duchess the Zebra. And it's uh, sad news out of Blank Park Zoo in, in Iowa on Monday, uh, 420, no less, sadly. This is, this is the day it happened on Duchess Some, the Zebra. Something happened to Duchess? Yeah, we'll get into it here. Duchess the Zebra, mm. uh, she died on 420 Monday after galloping into a uh, fence post mm. in her own enclosure at full speed. She committed mm. zebra suicide. Yeah, so this zebra Wait, what? Kill, killed itself by running into a fence at full speed. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Inside the park. And uh, uh, that takes one back for humans. Animals have been bebopping and scotting all over us. That not not so much with with Duchess. I'm sorry, we're laughing. Yeah, yeah. it's terrible. She called but, her shot. Um, she <laughs> <laughs> well, it's guys, I'm confused as to how a zebra can just off itself by running into a fence post that it's been living next to for over a year. So uh, these she, are the you got to feel Duchess. like quite a failure as that zebra's owner. Well, look, well, look, <laughs> look, the funny look, obviously look, there's some yeah, look, we're laughing at it, whatever the full the full speed gets me like the, like the zebra didn't know it was a sturdy post. That's what I'm saying. Guys, Zebras there's are some stupid. facts here. Yeah. You it's see how easily they get caught all the time by these lions and shit. They're, they're I dumb, think zebras they're are dumb. Yeah, they're big I dummies. I think zebras are dumb. Oh, you think? So, yeah. Well, here's the facts. Duchess was three and a half years old. She lived in the pen with her mate, Duke, ever since early 2019. So, like I said, they've been next to the fence post for over uh, a year. So much three life to half, live. Three and a half for zebras, probably like 30 years old. So much life yeah. to live. Yeah. yeah. The park people said that she must have lost her place and that she... Appeared to die instantly and suffer no pain. When right. she split in half. Yeah, that's what they say every time. <laughs> that's the biggest crock of body, bullshit I've ever heard in my life. Was, when her body was literally split in half, they think she died instantly. Yeah, no, it was instantaneous <laughs> when, when she, that when zebra she, ran she, headfirst into a fence post. When she ran through a fence post at 43 miles an hour. <laughs> yep, no <laughs> kicking so or convulsing. It yeah. was just... Well, it was a horrific death, obviously. Oh, like, yeah. With that description? I mean... Yeah, I don't know. They think she Sounds died instantly. Rough. I think they. I think she did too. 
Yeah, mm. that means her neck was like backwards when they found her. Oof. Uh, the staff claimed that Duchess and Duke were good playmates and happy partners. Uh, but I've got to say that, you know, like, uh, it, unless zebras are the dumbest animals on earth, Duke, maybe his, his, his hoofs aren't so clean and all. Of Duke's yeah, got to go were, down for this. <laughs> they yeah. were great friends until Duke learned how to mimic the sound of a lion. And uh, <laughs> oh my God! What if it was like that girl, <laughs> Duchess, <laughs> who convinced her, her he woke boyfriend her up to kill and, himself? He woke her up and scared <laughs> yeah. her. Oh. What if Duke oh. was like, "Yeah, you got nothing to live for." Pat, you're talking about that like teenage girl that th- that made the guy that convinced her uh-huh. boyfriend to kill himself. Oof. Yeah, Duke's Oof. like, "You should just do it." You think that's that could be Duke? Either that or zebras are just stupidest animals on earth, yeah. and that's. They're just yeah. L- lessons yeah. to zebra owners don't place like, you know, sticks that can kill them in, in their way, I guess. Well, I mean, th- it doesn't even matter. This zebra knew that fence post was there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You have to like dummy proof. <laughs> you have to like child proof the entire pen. Yeah. <laughs> right. Looking never back. I once see a zebra do, yeah. a, do a trick. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, what's Duchess doing in the yard? She keeps on like backing up and getting real close to that fence post, man. Something's weird yeah. out there. There's no, there's no way she's gonna go and oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> At least she died instantly. Never seen a trick zebra. Good point. Good point. All right, guys, this one's from uh, PFTIZ11B. All right. Uh, over the weekend, y'all, New York's mayor Bill De Blasio took to Twitter to announce that he had set up an anonymous photo tip line. Uh, and w- encourage New Yorkers to snitch on other New Yorkers uh, who were aren't practicing or weren't practicing proper social distancing. That's a good use of yeah. government money. Yeah, no, dog. That's a no for me. That's a no for me, Randy Jackson. De Blasio said, quote, it's as simple as taking a photo. All you got to do is take the photo and put the location with it and bang. Text the photo to 311-692 and action will ensue. Mm. Simple as that, guys. How about just check the fucking internet, de Blasio? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, apparently, there's a big problem with coronavirus in New York. So, you know. Yeah, but all those pictures are yeah. online. Like when the ship came in. Like why Apparently, he... he didn't really do much from any time. About yeah, do my job it, so. for me. No, de Blasio is a... Don't know. Yeah, little little bit of a what's what's the to, uh, some somebody come lately Johnny the Johnny or yeah. Bill Johnny Williams somebody he's a full blown <laughs> asshole there's no doubt about it guys and as you may have imagined the the idea turned out to be a big fucking mistake over the past couple of days of this tip line being open it's been overwhelmed with a man dingo sized flood of dick pics. Oh, no. Uh, I'm talking oh, clouds no. and clouds worth of penis photos. Uh, <laughs> they are up to their eyeballs in these things. Uh, the, the poor the poor admins of this fucking <laughs> thing. That, <laughs> it's it bad. Like, shaking about to click on the next photo. Can I make a recommendation? <laughs> There's a Pandora's box of dicks. I would, uh, I would do... Uh, online photos of like severe STDs on genitals and send those in. Oh, you know, Mark, I'm, yeah, I'm judging yeah. by the amount of dick pics that came in. That might have been on the spectrum. Yeah, I'm sure they were getting all kinds, just, all kinds of JPEG. Just a reco Anything for Bill. PNG. Anything too. you could put in to the app they were getting. Get yep. the text, guys. Uh, according to the New York Post, an NYPD source said that, quote, dick pic photos of real penises have also been texted directly to 311, the non-emergency police. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, other profane, profane messages. Publicizing this is only going to make it more uh, Yep, mm-hmm. yeah. I, gave, yeah. I don't know if you, if you remember, I gave the number out at the top of the segment here. Uh, other profane <laughs> messages include a photo of a bowl of gummy candies in the shape of male genitalia accompanied uh, <laughs> by a sign that reads, Eat a bag of dicks. Uh, photos of the mayor dropping the sta- Staten Island groundhog was also a popular photo texted to the uh, texted to the line um, and just good old fashioned middle fingers. Uh, a caller also phoned in a tip to 311 claiming that de Blasio was seen performing oral sex on someone, quote, in an alleyway behind a 7-Eleven early Got Sunday. Him. Got him. <laughs> uh, the caller went on to say he looked at me and coughed in my direction. <laughs> Uh, the caller said 
Uh, uh, this is yeah, according to a photo <laughs> of the three one one operator's computer screen uh, that that he or she screenshotted. Uh, but yeah, real this, stuff this there. Is, this is why the top uh, brains in the De Blasio. Uh, department didn't get him past like the first round of the presidential election. Not a lot of yeah. What is he? He's got it. Yeah, he's got to go. Not a lot of geniuses in his camp. Obviously, he's not one. Well, I mean, you know, he's preceded he by Rudy surround, Giuliani. He sur- hasn't surrounded himself with much talent either. That's true, guys. The relentless assault of cock photos was so unprecedented, y'all, that the city had to temporarily close down the tip line yesterday. Oh, they had to. They had to close it down. Hey, here's an idea. When you're the most hated guy in the city, why don't you not ask for people to send you pictures to yeah, you and your employees of snitching? Yeah. Snitching hey, pictures. snitch on your snitch on your fellow yeah. citizens and send me the evidence. It's wise, guys. I, 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 me, the guy you already hate. What else are you going to do? Not a good idea. Uh, the mayor's office is currently retooling, uh, and according to a source in the I NY- bet they are in the NYPD quote, the city has begun vetting everything uh, before dispersing information to the precincts, which implies that for a while there. A lot of these dick pics were being taken seriously as complaints and being passed along to police to sort <laughs> out. No, there was there was no Much, middle there was no dick middleman. Yeah, they were just going exactly. Now there's a dick just middleman. Forward. They yeah. just had a forwarding. Is it just Bill De Blasio in a room full of zebras? Is that his? Is that his staff? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on over there? <laughs> what do you think, Duchess? <laughs> this is a good idea. <laughs> Did we do something wrong, the Duchess? <laughs> I hope there's no fence posts in the De Blasio office. You, that guy's, that I, guy's a moron. Did you, Duke? Did you say something to Duchess? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Do you want to take it to the sex shop? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm. All right, because that's where we're going. Uh, I got another double for you. First one's from you Bubba. You want to skip me or let me, yeah, let me think, do my... Uh, oh, you is it your turn? Skipped right, yeah. skipped right on over, Wes. Well, let me, right let, me, let, me, let me skip you because... Okay. Would you want to go back? Yeah, well, sure, I can go back. We, I mean, we, go, I mean, we, 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 we can go back. Going. We let's can do go it. back, but... We'll go back. Well, let's go back. We'll go to the sex shop later. We'll go to the sex shop later. 427, y'all. Come on. It's better. Whatever. It's, you want to go back? Let's go back. Yeah, you I'm gonna got, go you back. You got it. Yeah. You got we'll it. Do it. Oh, you don't don't want to take Wes out of order. We'll I mean, go to the sec. We'll go to the sex shop later. Okay. Yeah. Let's build some suspense to that one. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. <laughs> well, this next one comes from uh, Kyle Cugini. Uh, thank you again, Kyle. Uh, now there's no way I can compete with the sex. Now everyone's gonna be disappointed. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. This, is, this, is, this is terrible. You demanded to go yeah. back. <laughs> I, I thought he was saying we can go back after my story. No. Okay. Well, we're here. All right, yeah. guys. Um, Idris Elba is uh, <laughs> is doing Hot all start. He, is doing all he can to become memorable in people's minds, and I think the actor who nobody recognizes just may have accomplished. Oh, come that on! With his I love uh, Idris Elba. latest social media attention grab, uh, you may what remember. Movie was he in again? Um, I'm gonna get to that. Uh, I'm gonna get to a couple Hobbs, of and, Hobbs and Shaw, and he was in The I Wire. Can't place him. Yeah. Um, Right, so you may remember him from The, the Wire, Thor, Ragnarok, Avengers, Cats, the TV Thor, show Ragnarok. Luther. I kind of know who he is from The Avengers. He was the guy with the wings, right? The, the, he was Falcon, right? He no. Was a, no, he was the guy that like, held the, the, the <laughs> no. key. He was the gatekeeper to, yeah, whatever. He's the sword guy. The guy I know, I know he's not Falcon. I know he's not Falcon. That was Anthony Mackie. Um, but fuck, I have no idea who Idris is. Anyway, you remember he and his wife both got uh, coronavirus. He's Bishop, right? That's his name? Bishop? I don't. I don't know. He's no. It's I think not, you're wrong too. Man. No, it's, I no. think you're wrong too. He's an Asgardian <laughs> that guards yeah. Asgard, but I don't yeah. know his name. It's that like, clears it up. Yeah, this guy yeah, did yeah. a fucking deal with the devil, Robert Robert Plant style or Robert Palmer style. What do you? Why are you guys? He's an incredibly talented actor and he's very good looking. What are you talking? Mark, there's one, like, something one, one, wrong when you look at his credit list and you, and you can't place the guy. I I think you're in the minority there. I think most people can place Idris Elba. Let's start. Let's I know do a when poll. I see his he face. Was a, he was in never... the office for a couple seasons. He was like, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. He was the financial. Maybe he's just manager. a chameleon. Yeah, Maybe he's uh. a great actor. Maybe he's just one of those great actors. You guys are nuts. Mm-hmm. All right, keep I going. Like him. Yeah. Anyway, well, this so, story makes him look stupid. Maybe you were right all along. Well, well fucking you spoilers, remember, he Mark. And, yeah. He he and his wife uh, both got coronavirus, but were both like kind of asymptomatic. So he's kind of like the lame poster boy for asymptomatic people with like no symptoms uh didn't really have a fever or anything gonna need to see some who tests. are like the most dangerous people in the whole thing who need yes. to lock themselves yeah. up yeah. yeah um anyway he's holding on to that coronavirus uh, notoriety and is now suggesting the worst idea in the history of the world at the worst time in history to suggest it 
And that is uh, that once this whole shit show is over, he wants us to quarantine a week every year as a remembrance to this time, uh, uh, you know, voluntarily. Full week, huh? Full week. Not like um, a moment of silence, but a week in your house. Just, just full week. Mm. Um, so Idris. What, what would be the benefits to that? To remember this terrible time, Will, for a whole week. Because we're going to remember it, Idris. I can't pay if, my goddamn rent, you piece of yeah, shit. Shut the fuck up. If you don't spend a week every year for the rest of your life in mm. remembrance, yeah. you're going to start licking everyone's face yeah. when you're going public. Uh, Idris, Idris hasn't lived uh, paycheck to paycheck huh? or had no, worked no. a job where you don't get yeah. paid if you don't show well, up. You got no. points on all the movies that no one remembers you in. Like, it's yeah. easy to say yeah. this. You guys wouldn't believe it, but he's probably worth like 25 mil. <laughs> well, I bet. Yeah. Well, he's yeah, he's he's been in quarantine with his wife and like he was on a movie set when he got it. Apparently that his wife's fucking been hot, too. I bet she's hot as luxury. Shit. Yeah. Fucking his hot wife um, in quarantine. So, you know, whatever. Idris, whoever you are. Um, so he wants, uh, you know, this to be I, he says, quote, I think that the world should take a week of quarantine every year just to remember this time. Uh, remember each day. I really do. And then he kept saying dumb shit. And he said, quote, I think it's other species I think it's uh, other species use it. It's called hibernation, uh, but it does remind you that the world doesn't tick on your time. Oh, no. um, oh, yeah, Idris. he's going to hibernate forever, oh, like Idris. Duchess. Honestly, yeah. Uh, so. Idris is like, oh, I'm, I'm just admitting to not knowing at all how the world economy works. Yeah, right. his uh, PR person forgot that it was like quarantine and just like forgot he huh. could get on interviews and shit. No, yeah, that's why. Right. He needs to be watched at all times. The PR person right. forgot he was an actor. <laughs> he just yeah. is an idiot. Yeah. He's worth $35 so, million. Yeah, all right. Close. close. Yeah, so while millions of people... Yeah, you, lo- you lose stuff. a little bit of uh, of touch with uh, reality, is that He was supposed to be the next... When you yeah. become that rich? Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. He was, supposed to, he was supposed to be the next James Bond. He oh, would, would you that, look at his ever, wife? Ever, yeah. Would you look at his fucking wife, Idris? Idris is a nerd-ass name, anyway. He wants to stay home with his thirty-five million and his wife and his fucking immunity to coronavirus. I, Good dare, luck. I dare you to watch The Wire seasons one through three and call him a nerd. That's a good point. Well, he plays a lot of hardcore characters. He does. Sorry, well, that's, uh, just the, that's just the movies, guys. He's an actor, but it does remind you um, that, <laughs> that, that that you know, um, while millions of people shelter inside and lay during uh, you know dying on hospital beds, this stupid son of bitch is is already uh, talking about a voluntary quarantine. He's, to talking, about, he's talking about hibernating. Right. Um, <laughs> he's fucking pre-scheduling yeah. a vacation is what he's doing. He's trying to get a yeah. fucking pre-scheduled vacation. That's well, true. who's going to pay for this? Not the, who, does every company in the world now have to pay everybody for a, for a free week of hibernation because Idris says so? Idris it's thinks not so. not going to happen. Yeah is, he just yeah. Pitch, is he just pitching a script? I don't know. He's he's just trying to stay memorable somehow. He's like, how are they going to remember me? Oh, the, the, maybe if they hate me, they'll remember me. Um, he is so handsome. the UK has had well, over. Maybe Idris can pay everybody's salaries for the whole week. Does he make enough to do that? No, he does 35 not. Million. No, 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 no. That's not enough. All right. The well. wire did not give him that much money. So the UK has had over 17,000 deaths. He's from London. Almost 1,000 new yesterday. And this idiot who nobody can place on a screen is talking about a week long remembrance. Um, and like well, like Mark said, they should, he should fire his publicist. So, uh, yeah, Idris, Idris, now is the time for you to speak out. You have this platform from your experience. The people need to hear your voice, Idris. And that's, yeah, that's what he listened to, and that's what he did. And um, now everyone thinks he's a big dummy. Um, yeah, yeah, not a great suggestion. No, Let's be honest. If, if you were blindly drafting off name, your, uh, your buddy's British friend named Idris, you, you'd, you'd, you'd pass on him for kickball. Mm-hmm. I don't I mean, know, British guy named Idris for kickball. I'd be he's gonna fucking yeah. be wearing a fucking. No. Ass you might have a cannon a tie, of a kicker bro. on him. Kick, you know? Kickball, he's fine. It's the debate team you don't want him on. Is the thing, like, <laughs> yeah. th- like why didn't his publicist write his thing for him? <laughs> why was it? Uh... Or just tell him to wait a few months. Yeah. Uh, all right. I don't know. Well, so that's it. You guys want to go to the sex corner finally? Or no, yeah, not anymore. Really. Yeah. All right. Is that all we had for Idris? I that's, mean, that's yeah, all we got. He, just, he, just want, he wants us to take a week off. Uh, and, well, and, and I think I think every, it could every be, year for the rest of our lives. It could be a good idea if you do it like you've seen the the, the whole world has seen the benefits like animals, the, the less pollution, smog in L.A. has gone down. That might be something, you know, do for the environment. But as a fucking like remembrance, well, did he say did he say all that? Did he well, say, no, no, he didn't. That's just that, that's what I think. He, he wouldn't, just it wants be to smarter, be remem- wouldn't it be smarter, Wes, to just do this shit like most of what we can still keep doing? It's been good for the earth after yeah, it's over, it but still get back to regular life. Yeah, of course. Yes. Because like you wouldn't want to do this f- like forced like this no. ever again. You might want to like 
what, you know, reduce emissions because, yeah, it's good for the globe. He's on, but the, like, he's on like that Butterfeld diet or whatever. You eat whatever you want for six days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. and, then, yeah. and then one day you diet. He wants everyone to go on vacation yeah. at the yeah. exact same time. We already yeah. have 9 11 yeah. week. I don't know how we're going to fit another week. Fuck off. Idris Elba. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. All right, guys, it take it to the sex shop because that's where we're going. Uh, I got another double for you. First one's from Bubba, the leader of the hive, and it turns out that sex toy sales have really taken off in the country of Colombia since quarantine. All those big butts need attending to. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They do. Yeah. Well, I mean. Big butts in Colombia. Everybody gets horny. It's true. And actually, the longer this quarantine goes on, the more horny people are just outwardly being, which is cool. Mm -hmm. So you're like. People Some, are just say getting more horny. and more horny by the day. Some would say too horny, but in my second story, some, are, some would say not horny enough. Uh, hmm. Most businesses are suffering, but not sex shops, specifically not sex shops in Colombia that sell products online. One sex shop owner in Colombia, Gerson Monge, which is a hilarious name for Colombian. I don't know much about Colombian names, but doesn't sound like a Colombian name, showed off that half his products are sold out. Uh, Manjay said sales started uh, going up on day four of the quarantine. So just 72 hours in and all the good people of Columbia can, can't stand without getting some battery power, some lube, some, some angle support, you know, in the bedroom. They really need that that extra oomph uh, when they're locked inside. After See, 72 Mark, hours. you just taught me a new term I've, I've literally never heard before in my life. It's making me curious about what's going on in yours. Angle support. Uh, mm. I don't know. Have you ever heard of that thing like the, the pillow that's like it's shaped? the wedge. Oh, yeah. The liberator, the, the liberator. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, okay, okay, okay. Now you get it. Yeah, mm-hmm. used to do log rolls, also, log rolls on it in gym. Right angle. Pat also yeah. didn't think you could pass uh, COVID nineteen to your sex partner. So I know that you ch- can't. Check out I, the sex shops, Pat. I'm, I know not, that you can't. <laughs> not, not just Manji's shop though, as all online sex shops in Colombia said they have uh, seen a swell in sales since the quarantine began. Uh, Colombians are supposed throbbing to st- sales. Yeah, throbbing sales is what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, Colombians are supposed to stay inside for at least another week, so uh, lots of kids are coming out of this thing, huh? Right? Yeah, lots. Uh, yeah, pa- lots of banging going on. A lot. And people are. <clears throat> a bet lot. either either you're banging yourself or you're banging wh- whoever you're with. Literally. That's it. That's and what's happening. It. It's one of the two or both. Uh, apparently, se- sales of sex toys in Denmark have more than doubled as well since quarantine. So they're get, getting it down in Denmark. Uh, and I'm sure they've gone up everywhere. I haven't done the research, but I'm just going to make that assumption. And mm-hmm. next, what do you guys think? I mean, obviously, right? Yeah. What? I mean, after, like, after the every, quarantine ev- ends? No, every country currently, like, sex toys, right. sex, all sex the DVDs, vice, all the vice sex stuff, stuff is up. Is, is up. Yeah. Not much of a yeah. story. I mean, PlayStation sales are probably up too. It's just like anything to pass. For right. sure. For sure. Exactly. All the stuff you can do at home is up. Exactly, Pat. Everything is up. Next up from Patricia, we're going to go back to a story we've touched on and talked about before. Uh, and, and that's the U.S., unlike uh, in Japan, is um, not treating their sex workers that well. They're actually giving them the shafts on COVID-19 stimulus relief. And um, like throbbing, I tried to throw in a few buzzwords there. Shaft and stimulate, you know, it was I like close. It, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm going about. I'm talking, I'm talking about, about sex, sex. stuff. Mm-hmm. Sex stuff. Sex yep. stuff. So sex gotcha. workers and anyone who professionally, uh, whose professional activities include prurient products or content are ineligible for COVID-19 related loans. Prurient, I had to look up, means having or encouraging an excessive interest in sexual matters. So they could have just called that word awesome. Uh, Mm -hmm. But uh, Mm -hmm. not everyone's happy about this, obviously. Jock the Stripper is one sex worker in the U.S. that said, uh, well, I guess the U.S. government has horophobia, and I don't blame you, Jock. I'd be pissed, too. The exact verbiage, I think, um, in, like, the bill was live performances of a prurient sexual nature, and anyone who derives directly or indirectly more than de minimis gross like what are they french at this point de minimis gross revenue through uh the sale of products or services or the presentation of any depictions or displays of a prurient sexual nature come on with all this fucking word verbiage yeah, are exempt Latin, from government yeah, are exempt from government stimulus so look again uh we've uh talked about this before but that's cam girls and guys porn stars sex shop owners all the above like the whole nine are getting like you know screwed over here yeah, um, not good. At least, at least business seems to be up for some of them. Not certainly not for live strippers. That, yeah, that's that's yeah. out the window. But yeah, if you got if you got to mold your vagina, you're in business. Well, if you got a vagina, you're technically 
you can always really be in business. Do, That's true. Do, do we know? Uh, I know there was a rumor going around. I haven't checked on it yet. Uh, but like contract workers in terms of like uh, Uber drivers, uh, Lyft drivers, are they eligible for stimulus relief? Do we know? Does anyone know? Uh, yeah. Gig yes. workers. If you're if you. Yes. It, it, but sex workers. Right? Yes. You're not taking care of the horse, huh? Not taking care Correct. of the horse. Um, and, and that's not going to stand, guys, from our end. Uh, we're going to have more to say about this with potential guests. Uh, we're not going to stand for this disrespect. It's not. It's just not the time to be sticking it to sex workers. Uh, yeah. another, another, they're going to they're going to remember lots this. of sex jokes in here. during quarantine. Come on, congressmen and women. Could you imagine if all of them went on strike? What the hell would we be doing all day? What if like browsers went down and, uh, you know, Reality Kings went down and mm -hmm. Pornhub was like, oh, sorry, um, we're going down. Well, you what know are you going to do all day? You know what's going to fucking happen is all those all your favorite videos, Congress, all your favorite fucking videos. You're going to have to access them through OnlyFans uh, through a goddamn paywall. And that's expensive. And yeah. that's going to be your it fault. Expensive. It's like if it's like. If this is the, a month. If this the is counter the, argument that the business is up and that's why no the no counter argument is that the u.s has a big dumpy in their pants and they're too like you know conservative um and they don't understand that sex work is clearly essential yeah they're they're yeah. prude they're not prurient yeah wait mm -hmm. till you go to your favorite video and you see the message that it's no longer available in your country and then and, and, and you see what kind of vote you put forward yeah, there's like a million guys digging basements right now because he can't get his, his. Anyone that's not jerking off during this time, um, I don't, I don't really want to know you. You know what I mean? You know what you could be doing though instead of jerking off all day and fucking with sex toys. Actually, I've I've changed my mind a little bit. Gambling on the news, mm -hmm. and you can do that by going to www.predictit.org/promo/hardfactor20. And if you go there and create a quick account in minutes and, and uh, deposit at least twenty bucks, you get a free twenty bucks. No strings attached, no promo code needed. Just go to that special URL. You're in business. Uh, look, the time is now to get in on this. We know you're not gambling on Russian tennis, or shouldn't be like whatever West did the other week. That was a mistake. Um, it was hockey. Yeah. Russian hockey. What are you thinking? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, if you're listening to this before noon Eastern today on April 22nd, do yourself a favor and have three tabs open. One's piecount.com, one's Twitter, and one's Predict It. Uh, with the how many tweets will at real Donald Trump have between April 15th and April 22nd at noon Eastern. At the time of this recording, it's wide open. So that could be a fun one to make a little bit of money off tomorrow morning when you're listening to this show. Take a gander. Make your best guess. I have the windows. over. I, I got in the over yeah. on that early. He needs to go on a little storm for me to win, but I'd, I'd walk away with like 300 bucks. Be nice. There you, there you go. And hopefully mm -hmm. you win West, but hopefully yeah. people don't do what you didn't get in early. Get in tomorrow morning or tonight. Yeah. Or, yeah, I guess the 21st at night. Uh, there are also some good new markets about margin of victory in popular vote and, and in the Electoral College vote for the presidency in November. I like those. And also one I like a lot is will Justin Amash run for president by June 1st? And Amash, for those that don't know, is the congressman who uh, was elected as a Republican but switched to be an independent last year because he was like, fuck you, Donald Trump. And there are a lot of rumors that he will run as a libertarian to try to fuck a few votes away from Trump. Um, and there's been a lot of energy about that in the news. That's currently at 33 cents. Yes, it was about 50 50 a couple days ago, and it's at yeah. 67 cents. No, so maybe we can get a sounds like on the Justin show. Amash will be the, the key to, to the 2020 election. Right. Probably. Well, maybe if we get him on the show, we can ask him. We'll see. But remember, go to www.predictit.org slash promo slash hard factor 20, create an account. Uh, it's legal in all 50 states. Deposit 20 bucks, get that free 20. Let's go. Nice. Get in there. Get in Michelle there. Michelle Obama, baby. Michelle. Those markets are oh. interesting. Yeah. Michelle is uh, everybody. Big, big Michelle swell right now. So, <laughs> yeah. If you, uh, it's like a it's like in in big that, swell that like, in, like in Colombia, but not the U.S. because we don't care, take care of our sex work. A uh, her and mm -hmm. Pence debate would be fucking fantastic. A what? Obama? Michelle, Michelle versus Pence would be. I would. I would. Uh, I'd pay pay per view money to watch that. Well, it, we it may happen if uh, if she wants to take this uh, VP thing that Biden seems to be offering to her. All right, let's move it on to voicemails and reviews. Everybody, first up, we got confused Kyle. Hey boys, it's confused Kyle. Uh, would like to put a petition up for changing my name. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm currently on my way to Portland to find work because the world is going uh, down the toilet. And uh, within my uh, job search, I was like, I could be a cop. 
you know, like fucking uh, then I realized I would have to stop smoking weed and that went out the window really quick. Um, but I also realized that I would not be able to memorize the you know, the right to remain silent age if you can do I would fuck up on that every time and then I would have a guy be like, Fuck out of here He doesn't even know the fucking thing. Give me uh, give me my lord, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. So <laughs> I just wanted to know what's something that you, if you couldn't be podcasters and you couldn't go back to your previous profession, what would you try to change your career uh, to be? And what would be something that would not even work for you because of the way your mind works? Okay, bye, boys. Love you. Also, give the people what they want. Lockdown Turn Up Radio! No way we're changing right. your name, Kyle. That was, well, uh, unless, it's, unless it's the very confused Kyle. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, also... Confused Kyle, you can just introduce yourself as whatever you want. It's right. going to be on us if we ad- adopt it. So yeah. and we he's trying to get ahead of it. He's self-deprecating, so we don't say, "Man, that guy, Kyle." We love, seems we confused. love you too. We love you too, Confused Kyle. We hope you get uh, some work going soon. I hate to hear uh, he's out of work. It's called probably the, called probably not Miranda as a cop. Writes. Yeah, Miranda writes is something you should know if you want to be a cop. But Do- doesn't sound like he's on the fast track to being an officer. But what jobs, boys, would we take? That was the question from Kyle. Uh, if we could not be podcasters or go back to our pr- previous career. We, uh, same, so, same money? Like any job gets the same money? Or are we? Well, what could you do? I mean, he's saying, like, what could you mm-hmm. possibly even do? Oh, so, would, so is it like a, it's a what could you do, not a what would you do? If you, if, if I don't think he said that. I, I'll, yeah. go, I'll go first. I'll go first. It can't be your old career. It can't be this career. Okay. Uh, I would definitely immediately go f- for the weed industry wherever wherever that would just straight up uh just just go in to that mm-hmm. yep i love that okay. I, I would go back to school and That's a good uh, idea. become an engineer of some sort i love engineering figuring like, shit out like building shit okay yeah okay um, that's gonna take you a long time yeah that's yeah. too long i got time man. um right. i don't know i guess uh right now if i would i would say sex worker lobbyist there you there go, you go. yeah um, I would go back to delivering pizzas. It was uh, yeah. probably my probably <sighs> my favorite job I've ever had. Great That's answer. an easy pizza. one. I, yeah, I want Wes's job. Yeah. Or Will's pizza job. Pizza kitchen in general. Yeah. Wes, real pizza quick. kitchen. Why was yeah. it your favorite? Because it was also my favorite job I've ever had. Um, well, I did it at, when I was at uh, University of Kentucky. And, you know, um, the we used to... First of all, there was a 24-hour Howard Stern station on down there which was amazing for delivering pizzas second of all we used to steal from the uh, pizza place we used to not write the <laughs> orders in and then and then deliver them so we'd make like an extra 40 or 50 bucks a night That's cool. um yeah that was awesome and then i could just Pretty be classic. high the whole time you got high too when he did yeah. right yeah yeah, yeah the walk-in freezer is just a constant yeah. so rotation free pizza, pizza. extra yeah. cash free pizza. howard stern got high yep. that was got incredible it. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Pizza mm-hmm. Kitchen. Anybody who's worked at a pizza place knows. Used to it's trade fun. pizzas for weed all the time with the with my dealer. It was fantastic. That sounds like uh, a, a confused Kyle. You're not so confused now. Yeah. Try it out, yeah. Kyle. It's fantastic. All right. This next one's a little long. Uh, let's get it going. Hey guys, it's Bob Aft from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, needless to say, there's there's a story behind that nickname, but it's not a very good one. So, okay. uh, not really calling for any reason. I'm just kind of bored, to be honest. Um, quarantine life really sucks. Not very good at working from home. Uh, my boss just quit the other day, so that sent us into a bit of a tailspin. Really just want to watch some sports, um, but, you know, I'd settle for going to sit down at a restaurant, to be quite honest. That'd be a pretty big thrill in my life at this point, but I digest. Just wanted to say that the show is awesome. Uh, it's cool that y'all have been friends for so long. I got a bunch of dumbass friends I've known for 15 plus <laughs> years going back to high school. We're still just kicking around, making jokes about current events and whatnot, uh, but we don't get paid for it like y'all do, so good on you for that. Uh, trying to keep up with all the shows during quarantine life, 
but uh, without a commute to work, it's a little bit harder, and they're longer, um, longer times on the shows. So I'm, I'm doing my best, but just need y'all to do what you can to will us back to normalcy, positive vibes only. That's all we can do. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Yeah, I need a hug after that. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good voicemail. Yeah, yeah thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> I'm assuming he's got an app. Yeah, he probably makes apps, or mm. he's like a developer, maybe. I don't know, something like that. Or maybe, he says he drives. Maybe he work, loves so appetizers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Wes, maybe, 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 maybe he always orders appetizers, yeah. or like, or a one app night, guy. One, one night he ate like ten appetizers. Yeah, never a main that's, dish, yeah. just appetizers. That's where, Actually, my, that's, that's where my brain went to. Yeah, the coolest, the coolest reason that yeah. would be a cooler reason to have that name. Okay. Uh, yeah, that po- was, we got a- positive vibes. Let's keep going. Let's, let's positive let's vibes only. Yeah. Bob App, we're going to keep the positive vibes going. PBO, we definitely baby. want this shit to be over. We're going to be as fine. Soon as possible. We're going to be fine. Right. Yeah. You can pull Next through one. it, Bob. It's it's tough. You'll you'll get through. Next one. What's up, fellas? It's Pat C. Quarantined out here in Santa Monica, California. Uh, I know you guys are some heavyweights, so I was wondering of the hard factor boys. If you guys were to enter the ring at a rough and rowdy, who would be most likely to land a knockout punch and who would be most likely to go night night? All right, thanks, guys. Hmm. Ooh. Interesting. Great question. Good question. Who's who who's gonna get knocked out and who's gonna knock out at rough and rowdy? I think all of us have the potential to get knocked out. Hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. Um I, Yeah. I would yeah. I would put myself at the top of both lists. Yeah, I agree. Will. Me too. Will's, Will's definitely the strongest and the heaviest, heaviest handed. Since we've been friends for twenty plus years, we've we've we we knew each other through high school sports and stuff like that, and we had some all had some wrestling matches and some altercations physically, uh, sometimes punching and kicking each other in the face and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so Will's right at the top of both lists. Uh, yeah, Will's had Will's, yeah by far the, uh, by, the most heavy handed. Also, have had by far the most concussions of anybody. Exactly, on the show, and, so. and you've got you've got what I like to, what I like to call the six gear. Uh, I'm Will, I'm at a I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. Well, Will's a monster. Yeah, Will, Will's I, got a gear that if Will's if Will's gone if Will is like yeah. if he is angry, yeah. then I'm. If yeah, it weren't if it weren't for the concussions, we'd throw him right in the ring. But he, you know, the concussions. It's not dangerous. Right. Uh, I'm at a disadvantage because I was a lifelong uh, athlete, skinny kid, and now I'm a fat guy, and I don't have a lot of uh, experience being a fat guy. So I'd have to fight a, a heavyweight, and that would not be the weight good. management. Yeah, that would not be yeah. great for me. The balance yeah. and and, yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, I like to think it I'd changes. be good at. I like to think I'd be good at boxing, but I n- also know myself that if once I got hit, um, I would just I would turn into a scared running pansy around the ring. Um, mm-hmm. If I got hit, if I got hit with a hard enough punch, and Pat's, and I, Pat's got some reach. I, well, I've been really good at uh, entering brawls ca- from a calculated perspective. I've been in probably more fights than anyone in the, in the group, but uh, as as a as a large group. Uh, and a, yeah, as in yeah, as in like not one on one outside of a bar. Yep, type absolutely. Situation. And uh, but hey, guys, Patsy, we just got a fucking heavy bag at the Hard Factor Studio. Yeah, we're gonna start training, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. but honestly, we're all terrible at fighting, probably. Yeah. Yeah, can't wait yeah. to sprain my wrist on that heavy bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was a bouncer for like four years, so yeah. I don't, I don't Will's, think I'm that Will, bad at it. Will's, um, the, Will's but, the only tough guy, but he's he's like uh, Billy Bob at this point. One more concussion could send him to the hospital. I, I shouldn't yeah. get yeah. in fights yeah. anymore because I have had too many concussions. All right, next one. Guys, love the show. Been listening to it for I don't know. Over a year, but would love to. I have a shirt in the old uh, merch store, and it's not black. Like, give us like a gray or like a red or something else. Yeah, mm. bye. Listen to this skinny fucking voice. I entirely fair disagree, enough. but um, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Wes is always like, let's make it black. So I guess we should yeah. maybe do a survey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the black shirts were great, but uh, fair they're, enough. They're slimming. You know? That's why I like them, and they're right. They're, I, I just think black looks better on you, at least me personally. Let's let's do white horizontal stripes. <laughs> we can do navy, maybe. <laughs> yeah, to, to to give you a little uh, inside baseball, <laughs> West. We can do navy. West, West, for the most part, <laughs> maybe is driving the shirt ship. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, kind of, yeah. he's kind of our pro merch guy, uh, and uh, you know he looks good in black. So that's where that's coming. It from. is pretty much all West on the on the black. 
shirt. He's never well, agreed. Well, he's never agreed to anything but black. He's been outvoted for a few non-black shirts, but he's never voted for not black. No. Oh, always black. Yeah. Always, always black. black. Yeah. So we'll work I, I like the black. I like the black shirts, but uh, the hive has spoken. We're gonna have to give some <laughs> some room to other colors. Yeah. All right. Uh, last voicemail. If I can get it to play, send us some je- some suggestions for shirts too. If you guys think of anything you might wear or buy. Yeah. Yeah, What's blue, up, Hard yeah, Factor boys? This is Adam from California. Well, I'm a dairy farmer, and I just wanted to give a big shout out to Wes for uh, for how much milk he's drinking and. Uh, Come on, Pat. Get with the program. Milk is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also watching the uh, Barstool feud, why would you ever pass when you win the opening question? <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Well, Mistakes missed, were made. Hang on. He missed a big one there. I thought when he said, why, why didn't he mention that Pat said mess cow instead of milk? He could have... <laughs> <he could've, laughs> Got crushed all of us, but Wes. Yeah. First of all, Adam, the Adam from California. Thank you for. Yeah, but, you you're know. welcome, Adam. I appreciate it. I, 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 I will always do what I can to support the dairy farmers of America. Uh, and yeah, and Pat, I, go ahead and defend yourself. Well, Adam, go. look, I'm all about you and your industry, uh, and I want you to win, uh, and I want you to serve milk to people like Wes who don't know that it's fucking gross. But I think yeah. you're gonna do great in that. Do you like respect. Cho- Do you like chocolate milk? No, I don't. Ooh, really? I mean, like, theoretically, uh, yeah. I would probably enjoy it. Like, I would enjoy, like, a chocolate shake, which is essentially, like, a version of chocolate milk. I just I just don't want to consume the uh, the milk, literal milk, uh, of another mammal. Uh, I'm not interested. Hmm. How do you think you got here? Yeah, that's makes me feel powerful. Milk, The milk of your mother. Yeah. Uh, also, or the formula that she bought. Yeah, I'm also a big-time lactose guy. I'm, I'm for you, Adam. I will eat your cheese, drink your milk, uh, all that stuff. And I'm sorry that uh, we passed. On the one, yeah, uh, the one that we did win on Friday well, night let's, that let's, was mine, let's, let's and I passed on, on it. Move on I pa- feud. Look, we had tried. Look, the reason Adam is that we had <laughs> gone back and 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 we had looked and saw every time that somebody passed, they had won the round. So this was like the first time. It's just we fuck we fucking suck. Look, let's let's feud. not try to give our strategy on feud. There's no there's no ex- explanation. We're there's switching no to Jeopardy, <laughs> Adam. Don't worry we're about just, it. And we'll have a milk done. category. We're, we're, we're done with Family Feud. We'll have a milk category. Show artists. Yeah. Switch into Jeopardy. We're much better at that. All right. Uh, moving on to five star reviews. And boys, uh, Pat, the first three, uh, they're they're coming at you, bro. So so we got we got to take it to the Pat corner first on the five star reviews. First one is from C Maples, 7014, five stars. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's long. It says great show. I listen to this show on my way to work daily and love most of it. You guys would really be doing yourselves a big favor by getting rid of Pat. He's literally, he literally has a stupid comment or utterance for everything that is said. His voice sounds blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read the rest of it. Uh, suffice oh, to say, finish he's it. not finish happy it. with you, Pat. Finish it. You want me to finish yeah, it? His yeah. voice sounds forced and fake, and he sounds like a pretentious know-it-all. I could literally be cackling in my car over something anyone else on the show has said, but immediately... Flip to rage once Pat starts talking. Maybe he would be better served on the production side of things. I'm no expert, just an avid listener. C Maples 7014. Yeah, not Maples. a fan. Not a fan of Pat. So, Pat, you, what do you have to say to C Maples? I didn't want to finish it. Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, what do I have to say, say, say to C Maples? Thanks for listening, C Maples. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate it. Sorry my voice sounds forced. Uh, sorry I have an utterance for everything said. It's called radio. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I am a pretentious know-it-all. That's kind of the character I play on the show. Um, yeah, I hope you can keep listening. I hope I don't, I don't force you to blow a blood vessel in your brain while you're driving. But, but if you're really getting that angry at me, uh, I think maybe you should seek therapy. That's, that's my, I don't know. (laughs) I think in this situation though, um, maybe you should be, uh, force, uh, hoping for, um, like, you know, boys, I don't know. Fire me. Fire me. If he's. Pat, you are good at production. If he's going to be this, uh, this, this worked up over it, I mean, maybe, you're lo- maybe you are looking for a reaction. All right, next one. <laughs> Pat, we got two more for you, unfortunately. Oh, this man. one's five it's, stars. Tell me they're easier than C. Maples. That oh, one C. has Ma- to be the worst. C. C. Maples. Maples was absolutely the most brutal. This one is five stars from D. Rock. He says, these guys get it, but their treatment of Pat isn't great. Ooh, somebody's sticking up for Pat. Yeah. Just because he's a bleeding heart lib and the only hard factor member to be body conscious. Ooh. That hurts. Barstool refers to him as gay Pat, oh, which no. is sad. And yep. Nope. There's a Pat. Okay. Wrong so exactly. check it out. 
appreciate it, uh, D Rock. You and my mother should totally hang out uh, because a lot of times uh, when these three boys who have been in and out of uh, her basement. <laughs> Uh, for the better part of almost 25 years, uh, she, you know, my, my mother essentially second mothered everyone as, as did everyone on this show's mother, vice versa. Uh, she's, you know, she's like that Mark, Mark really gave you a hard time on the show today. Uh, and I'm like, mom, uh, it's okay. <laughs> It's part of the show, but D-Rock, I, I appreciate hate you. I hate that. I, I don't want your mom to say that. I want to continue to give you a hard time, but her not to say that. Oh, yeah. I mean, look. Yeah, we stressing we, his mom out, Mark. We're yeah. brothers. We fight. Don't worry about right. it. Uh, I'm, right. not a, I'm not a bleeding heart lib. That's one thing I'll, I'll say. I am, a, I, I am a lib, but I'm not a bleeding heart. Uh, if you listened to yesterday's show, I gave Trump his due where he was due because he did a good thing negotiating our oil deal. I try to call it like I see it. Gay Pat, uh, different buddy of ours, uh, different barstool personality, actual gay man, uh, fantastic dude, fought in rough and rowdy, unlike uh, I would. Winner. winner. Big time winner. Yeah, yeah right. I, I don't know. Uh, this guy seems like he's a fan of the show, but I don't know how big a fan of the show he is because we are um, very pro LGBTQ and stuff. Like, we wouldn't call someone Gay Pat for their beliefs and then say, ha ha, ha ha ha. ha. Like, I don't, like, we wouldn't, oh, I think he's he saying, I think he's saying that it's sad because he thinks that people refer to me as gay Pat and right. I'm, yeah. I'm perceived because, as because a Because you're, because you're, because you're, uh, but I'm not pus, gay. Because you're a pussy is what he was saying. Which ah, we well, we that is yeah, true. I think D-Rock understands yeah. all of this. God, I hope, I hope all this talking it. is mm -hmm. pissing off C Maple 7. Oh, Next whatever. one is five stars <laughs> from JPB024. He says the name of the review is three out of four, which is confusing. Uh, and because it, it's five star review, and he says Pat has missed two, quote unquote, as is tradition, as is tradition. in the past three weeks. Other than that, this show is pretty good. And to that, I I don't know whether he's referring to number of shows, Pat, That's or confusing. reviews that you did. Now he's five referring to the fact that we covered um, British news on the two Sundays that Pat wasn't there. So and he, Pat and missed he didn't, saying he didn't, he didn't say it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Huh? As is that's, tradition. So that's a pro Pat review, but he's saying think. Get, to, get to work. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah. I think that's what he's saying. My bad. Yeah, I, 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 I'm sorry if I let you down. I think two of the three reviews were pro Pat reviews. It's just yeah. C Maples. I yeah, love Pat, it all. Pat, Pat read Pat read C Maples review and needed a night off. Look, C yeah. Maples. <laughs> well, Pat, you are you are you are a lightning rod, buddy. You are you are drawing in the you five star DM reviews. Me? Yeah. So whatever you're doing, we can chat yeah. it out. <laughs> yeah, that was the pack what, corner. Whoa! Whatever oh, you, wow. whatever you're doing, yeah. keep it up because three out of the six review five star reviews are just for you. Yeah, yeah we need so, we need uh, more of them. Send in some more Pat reviews. Yeah, maybe <laughs> I should just switch to the production <laughs> side. <laughs> Let's move on to the non Pat reviews. Switch five to the production stars. side. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, you, you piece of there shit, bitch. I've been in this business for 15 fucking years. I was sounding fake on radio when I was fucking 17, you asshole. I started doing tapes in my basement when I was a fucking child, and I've been practicing <laughs> this craft for a goddamn long time. What do you do? Other than listen to my show, thank you so much for fucking listening because I need the money <laughs> very desperately, and the numbers he, are coming up. But but fuck is. you, <laughs> suck a dick. Uh, my dick, in fact. Uh, but also, seriously, DM me if you want to chat it out. Um, there it is. There you go. There we go. There you go. So uh, that's what I was hoping for. It's like therapeutic. See, there you go. It is. You gotta, you gotta All right. head on. Also, and fucking the... DM me, and I'll fucking send you my IQ number. You piece of shit, saying I'm making dumb comments. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm what, sorry. Wait, your IQ. You know your I IQ. I think you might take you up on that challenge yeah, now. I don't know about that. You, uh, had, me, right. you had me to IQ number. Yep. You dug. You dug yeah. yourself a little hole. How do you become a lightning you rod wanna, if you don't wanna, piss wanna, people off, Mark? Might want to. Might want to cut that in post. All right. That hey, that was a spicy first Pat review corner. Well, yeah. Hopefully more to come. Let's move it over <laughs> to the non Pat reviews. Five stars from Miss M O five. She says Dilfs. Hell yeah, a show. Uh, I love the show. The hard factor guys are Dilfs. They're smart, funny, and manly. Wes nice. is a straight up daddy with six D's. Whoa. Woo. Whoa. Keep up 60s. the good work, oh, and I'm bro. loving the longer show. You can feel shows. the sex in that review. You can yeah, feel yeah. the horniness and the moistness. Sorry, exactly. Miss Mo Five. I'm a, I'm a taken man, but I I appreciate the six Ds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Mo Five. Indeed. All right. Next up from Boston Monster. Great name. Five stars. Why did I start listening to this? I have no clue, but I cannot stop. This show should come with a warning about how somehow a half a ton of men can be hilarious on a daily basis, even though the most difficult of news. 
Love the lads. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank I'm, you, Boston. I'm with Monster. them. We got to be on every day. Thank you. Are we a half ton or a full ton? That. Are we a half ton or no. a half ton? Again, we gone over this IQ guy. It's 2,000 pounds is a ton. So we're hey, bro, I, did, I, I didn't say I was educated. I just said I had aptitude. Half a ton. You just would show him your IQ mm. number. Half a ton. Just half show him ton. the certificate. Just show him the number. All right. You're not going to be happy. Be I write. I love how this saga is nowhere sad. close to done. <laughs> no. It's going to hurt. <laughs> You're about to get five more C Maples reviews. You haven't taken an IQ test in 15 years. You don't know no, what yeah, not an IQ like, number is. Yeah, right. Who's right. taking one? The last yeah, one like, I took, what are you talking about? The last one I took was right before about? I started drinking. I'm not, I'm, and I'm, I'm not fucking. That I'm doesn't. Not, you're, when you took Wait. an IQ test when you were 17, that doesn't mean that's your IQ for your life, man. You took like one. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Hey Mark. All right. Hey Mark. I only remember you at one speed. Then, then let's let's do an IQ test. And that's test fast. Then. Yeah. Let's do an IQ test. We're, then. we're gonna get to It'd the bottom. It'd be biased. Of this. Yeah. We're okay. gonna get guys. We're trying to go. We're trying to do some fun reviews yeah. here. We're gonna get Positive to the bottom of this only. IQ stuff. Yeah. PBO. I'm not. PBO. I'm not taking an IQ test. I'm in. All right. Well, maybe we'll maybe Wes and I could just uh, monitor. Yeah. I I, we'll that. see. We'll figure this all out. We'll figure it all out. But guys, one last review. Five stars from D Duggan, and he says. The title is Moana. I'm just a 31-year-old dad with a three-year-old daughter who has watched Moana 400,000 times in the past year. So when you ended the show with that Moana jam, it brought a tear to my eye. Not in a good way, but I dig the show. So whatever. Uh, how about some Frozen next time? And with that, I'd like to volunteer to do the audio tonight so I can hook D Duggan up with that song request, a little Let It Go from Frozen. And that's going to do it for Heart Factor today. Make sure to tune in for a very special recurring guest episode tomorrow. Uh, you'll find out who's on who's on that one uh, tomorrow. We might have two and guests then Florida this week. Man Friday after that. What's that, Pat? We might have two guests this week. We might have a guest on Florida Man Friday. We might. Ooh, maybe a double guest, extra guest, plenty of guests coming up. Then Florida Man Friday after that show. Uh, and, of course, Bar Barstool Feud on Friday night. Pat, who's going Friday night? You know, I don't think PMT has selected their uh, their squadron no, yet. No, no, it's, well, it's I supposed thought. to be Boston versus PMT if they get their is, shit together. Is it Boston PMT? Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Uh, check out our Weed Jeopardy because we might just tell those boys to fuck off and uh, kill a game that we're bad at. And uh, start yeah. a game that we're we, good at. We Jeopardy was so fun. We Jeopardy well, was cool. fun. Yeah, Jeopardy, Jeopardy is we'll, coming we'll up. We'll be good sports if PMT wants to play. It'll be PMT and Bussin. We'll ask. There will be we'll ask them if they want to play, and if they get their ducks together, we'll do it. If they don't, maybe we'll switch it up. There will be something, and that something is going to be on the Hard Factor News YouTube channel, which you should stop whatever you're doing right now. And go subscribe to that because that is the ticket. That's the place to see us every day. See every single live stream, every single everything we put out. But most importantly, go have yourself a great fucking Wednesday. Oh, yeah.